Hey guys, so what is up? Red Panda Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm just gonna be optimizing my RTX 3080 rig. You guys probably just saw recently, I just built this six by Asus Tough 3080 rig. Okay, and it was pretty simple to build, not too bad. My cable management is terrible, but I did my best. You guys know I'm using two power supplies, a 1200 watt P2 and a 1000 watt uh, another EVGA P2. Okay, so yeah, it's working really good. And uh, otherwise though, I am having an issue with thermal throttling. Okay, so the rig just booted up. I am getting about, you can see here, 100 mega hash for each of the cards minus one of them, all right? The GPU 2 is giving me issues because I believe it's just silicon lottery. This one, I probably need to up the power limit or core clock on this or memory clock or whatever to see if I can get over 100 mega hash on this one. It's only giving me 95, uh, so right off the bat. So I don't think it's a thermal throttle issue on that one, but it's more so silicon lottery and it's this one uh, right here. But otherwise, the rest of them are pretty good, but I do need to figure out the thermal throttling issue that I have after it runs for about five to 10 minutes, okay? So if we look here, uh, you guys can see it should, okay, no, it's not thermal throttling yet. It's about uh, only two minutes. So we're gonna give this a little bit. I'll show you guys what I mean, all right? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm about 13 minutes in and uh, we are definitely thermal throttling, all right? We're getting 87 mega hash and 90 mega hash on some of the 3080s here. I'm just gonna do a refresh and just to confirm, yeah, even worse now, it's down volting down to 83, 83. It looks like this one's going down to 99, okay? So we definitely have an issue with, I guess, I'm gonna say temperatures. And we've seen this before. You guys know I do have a Gigabyte 3080, uh, which I have right off right now. I have the whole rig off because uh, I want to test out. Actually, I have a whole bunch of rigs off because I want to test out the power consumption at the wall because we want to essentially figure out the uh, power consumption for the whole rig. Uh, so right now, looks like it's been downvolting itself. We were at like 1500, uh, but now we're at 1460. Two watts for the whole rig and yeah look <laughs> it's getting worse and worse definitely thermal throttling 78 mega hash wow that's oh that's not good yeah definitely thermal throttling okay so I do want to try a few different things to optimize this rig I do want to try a hundred percent fan all right we're at 80 percent fan speed so potentially a hundred percent fan will definitely help as well as I want to add some AAA wave uh, 100 CFM or 90 CFM fans okay so we're gonna put those on here first and then I do want to move the rig onto my shelf uh, right there or right there and uh, you guys can see I did move a bunch of rigs off. I'm planning on selling some. Go check out Dream Discord link down below. Go join there. You guys will see a whole bunch of posts there of GPUs for sale, also from other people as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna add the fans and uh, then we'll put the rig over there and then we'll optimize it, all right? So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, you guys can see it's on my mining rack, little one rack that I have in my crypto mining garage, you guys know. I will have another update of my garage <laughs> in another video. I have a lot to talk about actually. But anyways, the rig is here. I have the four AAA wave fans installed in the back. So all the airflow is gonna be pushing out this way. Uh, you guys know before that I had the rig. It was essentially facing this way. So the heat was going basically into the wall. So that could have attributed to the thermal throttling that I was having. So we will see the same settings that I had in HiveOS if we are going to essentially have any thermal throttling or any lowering of the uh, mega hash number, okay? So yeah, let me get this going. Okay, I just turned it on. I feel a good amount of airflow. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why I didn't use Delta fans and the reasons why, uh, the biggest reason why I didn't use Delta fans is because it's just too loud. Okay, I didn't want to use the 200 CFM fans because uh, this is in my own place where I live in here, so I can't have it too loud. So the AAA wave fans, they're decent enough. They're only 100 CFM, but pretty good. I can feel a lot of airflow uh, coming this way, so it should be good. Okay, so it looks like it's booting up and we'll see if the rig will essentially thermal throttle. So it's just booting up now and you guys can see my settings here. Uh, I'll let this go for, I would say 30 minutes at 80 fan on all these other settings here. Then we'll see what we get uh, after about 
30 minutes or so. So yeah, looks like we are getting, oh, 100 mega hash now. Oh, we're getting 99 on this troubled one that we were getting 95 before. Then we'll see how it goes, guys, and then we'll try to change some settings if we need to. Oh yeah, here's the power consumption for the whole rig. Uh, 1550 watts, so we were at like 1520 uh, before I added the AAA wave fans. So it looks like we've added on another, I would say, 30 watts just for the fans, okay? All right guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, I lost track of time. It's actually been more than half an hour. It's been an hour and 27 minutes, roughly. We are getting the same hash rate. So it looks like the adding the AAA wave fans definitely helped with the uh, essential thermal throttling uh, that we were getting before. And I still have the 80% fan speed and all of these uh, overclocks, undervolts. You guys can see here, it's still the same. So. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Uh, but at the wall, just to show you guys, it's the same. It didn't change at all. It's still roughly about 1550 uh, watts at the wall. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna try lowering the power limit down to 225. And I wanna see how much hash rate we drop as well as the power consumption. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna do that now. Let's go to overclocking. And uh, let's go to edit here in Hive OS, good old Hive OS. And uh, I did try to do some different settings here, but let's just do uh, 225. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to do everything else in just one. I think it's because I changed a bunch of settings. 2600 on the mem clock, and we'll do uh, just minus 200. And we'll just see what happens to the hash rate. Okay, so let's click uh, save. Okay, so let's just see what happens in a second here. I'm just gonna hit refresh, and uh, we should see, actually the power consumption should change down. Yeah, 1470, 1480 watts now. Okay, 1478 for the whole rig. So we were getting about 601 mega hash for the whole rig, but now, we are going to get, uh, let's see, let's refresh again. And okay, yeah, we've dropped down, oh, actually we've dropped down quite a bit decently. Uh, 98 mega hash, 94, 87, 99, 99. Okay, so it says 580 mega hash. So yeah, we've dropped from 601 to 580 uh, doing these clocks. Let's just do a refresh again. But we did drop quite a bit of power uh, but yeah my hash rates are now still all over the place well this one's still pretty good uh, GPU number five is uh, still 101 for some reason um, but at the wall you guys can see yeah still 1480 around there so we were at 1550 before so we dropped about 70 watts and about 21 mega hash so 70 watts 21 mega hash I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's pretty efficient, but I'm not quite sure, like we shouldn't have dropped a lot on all these other Asus Tufts here. So I do wanna figure that out, okay? So let me, uh, let me just figure that out. I'm gonna like maybe change some overclock on some of the cards, cause I guess some of the power limits don't do well. As we know, all GPUs are not made the same. Uh, so silicon lottery, all that kind of stuff. So that kind of makes sense to why we're seeing a bunch of different numbers here. And, uh, but we're using the same overclocks and power limits on every single card here. Okay, so give me a sec guys. Let me see what I can figure out. Okay, I think I've optimized it the best I can for now. It's been running for about 10 minutes already. And uh, you can see here, all right, I'm getting about uh, 98 mega hash. Uh, for most of the cards, except for the middle two, I'm getting about 97. But definitely better than what I was getting before on this second or third GPU here. I was getting like 94 or 80 or something. So yeah, you guys can see, this is what I did, okay? So I kept the same 80% fan speed. I kept the same minus 200 core. I actually bumped down the memory down to 2200 instead of 2600. So I felt that uh, it looks like it, you know, it really didn't make much difference, uh, but I also dropped down the power limit down to 225. 
okay? So yeah, when I did 225 and I kept the memory at 2600, it didn't make a difference. It still stayed at like 98 uh, mega hash. Maybe it was like 99, maybe a little bit less, but not that much difference. But you can see with that troubled GPU, I've kept it at 235 watts or power limit okay so that one is definitely much better even when i lowered the mem clock okay on that gpu well actually i've lowered the mem clock on all of them and i definitely feel better of running the uh, power limits uh, the mem clock down lower so that you know i don't want to stress the cards too much but yeah it looks like it's uh, doing good this last card is definitely a silicon lottery winner uh i'm getting 99 mega hash on this one at 225 watts and yeah at the wall so we've gained a little bit more power consumption. So we were at like 480 before. So now we're hovering around 490. And so, and before that we were at like 1550. But so at 1550, we were at 601 mega hash. But now at 1490 watts for the whole rig, we are at uh, 590 mega hash. So we've dropped maybe I would say 11 mega hash or so. And you know what? I'm actually okay with that. I think in my head doing the math there, if we saved about 60 watts and we've dropped 11 mega hash, I think that's a win. I think we got a little bit more efficiency there and uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Of course, I am missing out on the 100 mega hash per card, but you know what? These RTX 3080s, in my opinion, they run pretty hot. And to run these at like really high temperatures, I, I just don't like it. So I think it's best for me and I think for you guys as well, if you're gonna be mining with 3080s, uh, you guys know these have GDDR6X memory and so they're pretty hot on both sides of the GPU. And what I mean by that is uh, the thermal pads and the shroud here, it's, it's hot on this side and it also extracts heat out from the back side. And you guys know with my Gigabyte 3080, I did have to add the thermal pads on the back there, uh, but the MSI Ventus and the Ultra XC3 EVGA, I didn't have to, they were totally fine. Uh, they were able to get 100 mega hash, easy. But yeah, this, this rig is totally fine. And uh, yeah, so guys, I think that's it. I think we were able to give this rig a little bit more optimization and uh, cooling down, of course. And if you guys are wondering what the temperature is in my uh, garage here, it's about 78 Fahrenheit, uh, 26 degrees Celsius. So actually when I turn on my bottom 3080 rig and potentially some other rigs, it's gonna get a little bit warmer in here. So this new 3080 rig that I just built may be thermal throttling a little bit more, but I'll keep you guys updated about that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts of uh, maybe any more optimizations I could do. I, I've played around with the overclocks as best I could, but if you guys have any numbers that you want me to try, let me know down below. But yeah, this rig looks really good. And I forgot to mention all the parts that I used is down below in the description. And it looks like the Z490 motherboard worked, the Asus Prime motherboard. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, yeah, I can definitely recommend these, uh, this type of combo to anyone so link in the description you guys can go check it out which parts I used the G6400 and the Asus Prime Z490-P motherboard okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one have a good one and peace out